Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this is Friday, March 17th, 2023. Not only TGIF, but also Happy St. Patrick's Day. St. Patty's, and I am wearing an appropriate shirt. Because it's green, got the fox and the hound on it, and I have some socks that are also green and the side of my shoes the appropriate color what am i going to do this afternoon i don't know well i do i have a couple things but i'm just going to see where the late afternoon and evening progresses i gotta be honest i'm a little tired i think jet lag has finally set in and two of the last three days i have hit the gym i've hit the treadmill i've been walking a lot two three days ago i did a gym session worked out just a little bit light weights treadmill Skipped yesterday, I guess I was at Epcot and Magic Kingdom, walked like 22,000 steps. And then today, earlier, did a little cardio at the gym as well because I knew I was gonna cheat a little bit this afternoon and have some St. Patty's delicious treats. Let's see where the day leads. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall we? It is a little later than I usually will start filming an episode, but I stated I was predisposed earlier. Usually I'll wait for the minute hand, the, the bicycle to move, and then I'll get moving. So according to this, it looks like it is four o'clock. Four o'clock, five o'clock? Kind of between four and five. What the heck time is it? Five o'clock. I had to look, actually, it's pretty pathetic, but I had to look at my, I just had to look at my phone because I couldn't tell if it was the four or the five o'clock. Okay, move. I need to go get a donut and some coffee too. There it is. It's donut time. St. Patty's donut time. There's also a clock right up here on Market Street, which definitely you can tell that says five o'clock. Not really sure if anything is going on in celebration for St. Patty's, but I'm just gonna kinda walk the street and see what I can find. I'm gonna head over to Highway 192 also and then probably end up at Disney Springs. It is kind of rare to see a patrol vehicle over here. That is like something you hardly ever see here in town, here at the end of Market Street. It's a little secure one patrol car. I don't think I've ever seen this vehicle before. I'm not sure if this would be classified as a green building or maybe like an aqua blue. I remember when I was younger, it was always the thing that you always heard amongst your friends. If you weren't wearing green, someone was supposed to pinch you. I don't know if you're, I don't know if you should go around pinching strangers because that, I don't know if that'd go over well. Oh, they are celebrating over here at Celebration Town Tavern. Check it out. They serve Guinness on St. Patty's Day. They even have all the little, they even have all the little banners up over there. I'm a non-drinker though. I haven't drank since like 2005. Even when I did drink, I didn't drink a whole lot. I wasn't really a big beer guy. Well, Starbucks has the green going on too. And because of this day and all the green, I'm starting to notice things that are that color that I don't normally notice would be. Like here, like this, this, look at this, this, this is, this is green. I don't I mean, it's something I just wouldn't normally notice, but today I'm just on the lookout for green. Even though I don't have a major game plan, if I did have one, it would be to keep it mellow this evening. I mean, there is a possibility coffee and a sweet, delicious treat in the form of a sugary donut might pet me up just a little bit. So evidently, for today, for a Krispy Kreme, if you go in here wearing green, you get a free green glazed donut, a regular glazed donut that has been greened. So I'm gonna see if that's true. I do love Krispy Kreme. Just the regular glaze is good. And I'm gonna definitely get a coffee as well. And whenever I get like a sweet, delicious donut treat from Krispy Kreme, I usually will not get any cream or sugar in my coffee because the, the donut itself acts as the cream and the sugar. So it kinda, just go with a straight black coffee, regular coffee, and then whenever I, whenever I go to Krispy Kreme, or any donut place, I don't eat a lot of donuts, but when I do, I just I don't put anything in my coffee. It doesn't, doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And the green glaze was in fact free. I did purchase one other one though. So I got my coffee and I got my two donuts. One of them did not cost anything because I am wearing a green shirt. All right, so I got the caffeine. Evidently Krispy Kreme started in 1937. 
I have done some uh, reviews from here, not necessarily food reviews, but donut reviews from here, in the past, and doing one again here at the Kissimmee on Highway 192, Krispy Kreme. So this is what we're dealing with. This might not be the only food item that I get throughout the course of the day, but I got two, as of now, delicious treats. I think this one, 390 calories, so the treadmill time that I did a little earlier is pretty much gonna like work this off. But this one here, probably treadmill did not is not gonna go after that one. So two different donuts. You can kind of put the ring, put the ring on it. I think it's a song. And I got my coffee. So it is time. Oh, I gotta get the shirt in there. It is time for St. Patty's Day coffee. Oh, my bot the box is like wedged up against the camera with the wind. There, that's pretty good for posterity. It's St. Patty's Day, 2023. Not sure what kind of savory treats you could get for St. Patty's Day. Cabbage, green cabbage. Like I said, I'm a non-drinker, so getting green beer doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. Oh man. Look at that. A completely green and engulfed, it's like the Hulk. You don't want to make this donut angry. You wouldn't like this donut when it gets angry. Mm, that's pretty good. Can't tell much of a taste difference between a regular glaze. A little bit of one, but not much. So much sugar. That's why I got the coffee straight up. Regular old coffees. Mmm. Cream filling there. Dessert of plenty. Kind of disappointed. I was looking up treats and stuff for Disney World. But a lot of the resorts have items that you can get for St. Patty's. And almost everything is a sugary sweet. Very little savory stuff. There's a couple restaurants, but not most of the walk-up stuff, it's all like this. It seems like any occasion, they just want you to feed your belly with lots and lots of sugar. I wish there were more options that were a little healthier for holidays and stuff, but there's really not a whole heck of a lot. I think just us as a society, myself included, we just like to eat garbage when we're celebrating something. After that, I feel like I need a savory treat right now. Let's see if I can find one. Somewhere. Orange garage, eight foot, six inches. I think we got this big the foot. I think we can clear it. I haven't been to Springs in months. I think it's been a few months. I always park on the roof of the orange garage. That's my go-to. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's been a little while since I've been to Springs. I mean, I'm here pretty often, but I don't think, I don't think I've been here in a couple months. Oh, I'm noticing something over here. So you got the entrance, the checkpoint over there. Take a look at this. Is this where the, is this where the, the gold is hidden? Maybe down in there? I think it might be. Oh no. Just a sanitary drain. And I'm noticing a good percentage of folks are all wearing green. This is definitely one of those holidays that everyone kind of dresses up for. It's easy to dress up for. Just all you gotta do is just put on some green. Check out the green cotton candy here. Completely green for $5.49. Now, if you wanna join the party over here, it is, I think it's $20 to get in for all night. And once you're in there, you can go inside Raglan Road, listen to live music and things like that. Now, I was looking online, it appears like the only thing that's gonna have like a savory dish out here at Springs is gonna be a place called the Daily Poutine, which is gonna have an Irish pork bangers poutine. And then also City Works Eatery and Four House is also gonna have some St. Patty's Irish type of stuff as well. So I can try either one of those places. And also Deluxe Burger has a really huge hamburger for today as well. But I don't know if I, don't know if I want a huge hamburger, but maybe I'll get the poutine. Or I can just keep kind of wandering around until something catches my eye. I just need like, I just need something non-sweet. I probably shouldn't have got the second donut. Probably shouldn't have got the cream fill and just stuck with the, with the glaze, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all right. All right, I've now stepped over to Gideon's Bakehouse where I'll get Kevin in the video here. It's, it's a very special day, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. We're, we're all wearing green. Got the green on. Oh, you got Shrek on. Yeah, we got, we got Shrek. All we're right. gonna rep the universe on there. Now what they have, the special item is not on here, so you have to know about it. I didn't know about it until you told me. It's, a, it's gonna be a mint cookies and cream. All right. Cookie. There's also like a cake slice. You're gonna get that. I gotta get something savory. That's the word of my, for the day for me. Savory. savory. Every time I go in here, this reminds me of Wizarding World. It has like a Wizarding World world vibe. 
to it. Gideon's. Now, I definitely have already had my sugar intake for the day, but I want to feast my eyes upon this specialty cookie. It's supposed to be like a pound of, of, don't, of, a pound of cookie dough. How many pounds is this thing supposed to be? It's a half pound. It's a half pound for a cookie, a full pound for the cake. All right, it looks like there's going to be some disappointing news. They do not have the mint. St. Patty's donut today. This is the donut edition, coffee. It's the coffee. Limited. I don't. I can't even speak. Cookie. I had a donut and coffee. Cookie. So is this kind of similar? Right. right. So this is the limited edition one for the month. So okay. the chocolate peanut butter swirl. But my favorite one here is the um, chocolate chip banana bread. Even though they do not have the cookie for today, they do have this ginormous slice of cake that you can get. Special limited edition cake. And if you want, you can order the whole cake, but I don't know what the price is on the entire huge cake for St. Patty's Day, but this is for today only, I believe. All right, I have decided, I went ahead and paid the $20. I'm just gonna wander around through here. I'm not really sure any rhyme or reason why I'm gonna go in here, but I decided, you know what? Heck, I'm just gonna go ahead and go into Raglan Road. So this is definitely where the party is happening. Maybe I'll go look in the gift shop. I'm also thinking I'm gonna to walk to the other side of Disney Springs where they have a couple menu items over where by where the NBA experience at House of Blues well NBA experience used to be in House of Blues is now. And look at this look at this crew here that's hanging out. Luck of the Irish Fancy Luck of the Irish? <laughs> no, but you missed mine. Shamrock shenanigans. Yeah. Is I'm that the shenanigans? Did you you made that up? I made it up. Alright. What you're saying? My saying is, this is a snake bite, a 32 ounce snake bite. That's a lot of beer. Yeah. And Isn't it supposed to be green? It is. No, they, it's a Not here, I don't think they do that here. No green beer. They told us okay. no. No, no, no. Where's yours? You don't, you're, you don't have, you already finished yours? He had whiskey. He had whiskey. You're already at, oh, you had whiskey. Had whiskey. All right. I'll edit that out. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the deal with no green? I thought green beer was like the thing. No, apparently here it's anyway, not. It's not, not kosher. It's blasphemy. It's not okay. It's not kosher. It's frowned upon. We go to like Applebee's. Yeah. Apple. Okay. Really All right, I'm gonna head to Applebee's. I'll see you guys. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna head to Applebee's. All right, Travis said they. There's a. This is a hack. Green beer out there, outside the area. Green beer is for peasants. For, for peasants, all right. Or you can just bring your own, you can bring your oh, own Oh, sprinkle it coloring. in there. Yeah. Is that all it is, just food coloring? Yeah, it's literally. Oh. Food coloring. All right, so it's not, okay, all right. It's not, a, there's no leprechaun that comes down from a rainbow and like sprinkles it in there? That's it, that's it. All right. We don't want to dispel that. It's a leprechaun. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'd pay $20 for these. Yeah. You got the, well, you got the wrist I band. I got the wrist band. And, and you got the, like, the luck of the Irish. Yep. I had a hat, but it, it's... They are doing, off. they're doing complimentary face painting. Oh, they are. Over there. You can actually go get your face painted for free. Oh. There's a oh is this what this line is? Yep. <laughs> to get your face painted. Okay, this oh. is the coolest thing that they gave me. It's a, coo it's a koozie, koozie. But this is the oh. special thing. Is that part of the twenty dollars? It's like, yeah, it's a Guinness spoon. So like when you make oh. the Guinness beer and you pour it. I didn't get a spoon. Oh yeah, that's how you make it. You set this on the cup. I got a shirt. You set that on the cup, and that's how you. I got make it. nothing free. I just paid twenty dollars to walk around in here. You paid twenty dollars. That's cool. No, and I don't even drink. No, I don't even drink. <laughs> no, let's take. So I gotta go get my spoon over here. Yeah, let's, let's take it here. All right, guide the way to the free stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. That's a slap yeah, bracelet. It's a bracelet. slap bracelet. Hit me with the slap. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Mint slap bracelet. Guinness beads. Slap me up. Men for the children. Slap me up. We're desperate for it. You got it. You got one. You got one. It says, please drink responsibly. I don't drink at all, so that's pretty responsible. Yeah. All right, I'll take one. That's what that is. Oh, that's that. Okay. All right. Thank you. I was confused on that. Now you got This is a Guinness. Why don't you just give this as a gift oh, to someone? Where's your necklace? Oh, you want this? Here you go. Thank There's you. My gift to you. Hat that way. hat would look really good on me. Yeah, and mine blew away. Oh, and there's pins. There's a look of the I Irish pin more. down there. Can I get a look pin also? So we're randomly just giving out your Thank There's you so much. Hat. Thank There's you. Your pin. Oh, great. Uh -oh. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about that. No worries. Thank you. 
What'd you get? This right, says, so appropriate oh yeah, I don't get drunk, I get awesome. That's so appropriate I get awesome you? one day a year. It's only on St. Patty's. The other days, I'm just other kind of days, pretty like, late. I'm just getting glasses. Oh, you're giving it the slap. You gotta, you gotta make it hurt. You gotta make it hurt? <laughs> All right. That's the move. You gotta leave a welt. But you could be weeping green. I'm weeping. <laughs> I'm weeping green. <laughs> Give me a slap. Ow! Ow! Real. All right, I'm yeah. taking these now. These are souvenirs. <laughs> He's collecting them all. You gonna do a fourth one on there? It's like the ten rings. Oh, Everybody slap them. Oh, thank you. Okay. Give it to him. Oh. oh. <laughs> that one actually really hurt. Sorry. It's like more sensitive at the top. Go away. Mike, thank you. Okay. All right, get your get your slap around, bracelets back. Doesn't fit around the form. He's got a green wig and he's got a, a cape on right there. All right, I have now gone over this way. So you got World of Coke over there. You got Planet Hollywood here. And you got the big balloon upstairs, right up there. All right, I'm now over in Deluxe Burger where they have the Dublin Burger, two breast signature blend patties with the Irish cheddar, corned beef, fried shoestring onions, Irish style barbecue sauce, lettuce and tomato. When in Rome, today is St. Patty's Day, so I'm getting the Dublin Burger. We ended up getting a pretty good water table here. Peter has also arrived. And Kevin talked me into getting a what am I getting? Uh, oh, it's not here yet. No, it, 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 this is the 1921 sauce and yeah. this is the truffle aioli. But your balloon has a little uh, St. Patrick's Day overlay. Look at the bottom, it's Oh, green. it's green, yeah. very nice. I don't think I'm gonna do the balloon tonight, but I am gonna be to eat an oversized hamburger <laughs> that has, I don't know, I don't know if it has green on it or not, but am I the only one doing anything St. Patty's for food-wise? I think so. No, are you Maybe. I got the double burger. Yeah. You yeah. got the double burger too? I, I didn't skip out like yesterday. All right, yeah. It's true. Yesterday you're like, hey, try this poutine. I waited in line and he's like, I'm just going to get a water. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fan? This is like the best fan ever. Yeah, really? I'm not sure it's working. You got to try this. I need to try it. Do I put it on around neck? This goes around the back of the neck. Oh wow! That's a game changer. Are you, are you, gonna, are you nice. gonna convert now to neck? Mine. That's pretty nice. Yeah. You look. I mean, you don't look cool wearing it, but I mean, you, not you personally, but I don't look cool wearing it. I don't look cool wearing it. Do I look cool wearing it? You look cool wearing it every day. Hat, right? Yes. What if I didn't have the hat on? What if it wasn't St. Patty's Day? Oh, yes, we are, I feel like we're, we're doing like a Haunted Mansion thing here. Like, Madame Leota's gonna appear at any time. This is gonna occur in this way. It's gonna buffalo chicken sandwich. So this is mine? That's yours. Okay. There's a lot going on in there. What's that on, so that's uh, pastrami on top of the burgers? I think it's pastrami on there. We got, I guess I should have probably paid attention when I was reading off the side. <laughs> it, it's gonna be two press signature blend patties Can with... Oh. <laughs> you yes. Yeah, you got the same thing. Right, where did where did the tracker go? Oh, it's right, right here, 89. Okay, so we have two press signature blend patties yes. with Irish cheddar, corned beef, fried shoestring onions, Irish stout barbecue sauce, lettuce, and tomato. Awesome. That's a lot. That's a lot. I never I got the tray here. Oh well, yeah, this the pizza one. is what we're dealing with. Oh, I did yeah. That. I didn't like that one. It's got the fried mozzarella on it. It's burger time. I've got to hit the treadmill today for an hour, so this should probably like curb. This is probably three times the calories I burn on the treadmill, but at least I burned something. Oh man. That is really good. I wouldn't even call that a hamburger. There's a lot going on there. Like what? Yeah. It's a Saint Saint Patty's miracle. Now I will say the picture makes it appear like it's gonna it's a lot larger hamburger than it really is. Because I was really nervous. I was like, this is gonna be like the biggest hamburger in the history of the world. And it really isn't. It's, it's a good size, but it's not it's not as big as the photo. So I don't feel so bad. Even though as Peter stated, we probably could have got a uh, some onion rings and shared them because that's a lot of onion rings. I'm not gonna finish that. Uh, Adam, do you want my onion rings? I have some. Do you want some of mine? <laughs> now they have something inside World of Coke called a cucumber melon spritz. Now it's green, so I'm just kind of considering call that that it's like something for St. Patty's Day. So we're gonna walk up the side of this little thing, go to the top floor. Always a really cool angle from up here. You kind of look down through that little walking area there. They kind of go through the like covered up spot. Over to the other side of Disney Springs, you got Rainforest Cafe off in the distance. Of course, Planet Hollywood. 
and the balloon and up here on the top floor gonna get a drink item again it's like not necessarily specific I think it's called the drink of the month it's not necessarily the drink of the night or the drink of the day but since it's green we have all just decided that you know it kind of makes sense yeah they do have I've never tried sour plum but they do have Beverly that's sour plum, sour plum. oh was this the one Okay, that's Fanta Sour Plum right here. So we're gonna get a right, that Tell sour plum also. Like. Tell you what it tastes like. Yeah. Is it the plum? Oh, I don't know. It tastes like cough syrup. It tastes like cough syrup, kind of. Barbecue. Oh, they have this. They have this in the new club, cool, right? I always say this tastes like Rome burning on Epcot. Like when, when you at Epcot when you're going through Spaceship Earth. It tastes like the Rome burning smell. Who would drink that and why? <laughs> On a hot summer day, who well, I want to barbecue soda. They have this in the new Club Cool. This is the new Club Cool flavor. Yeah, I think that might actually be worse than Beverly. I don't know. That's a toss up. So this it's is it right here, right? Mm -hmm. The Fanta, Beverly. Yeah, I just, I never had this much of it. Usually in Club Cool, it's like a little sample thing. It tastes like barbecue, but it also has like a weird burning smell. And that's what I'm getting there, the cucumber melon spritz. Fanta melon frosty sprite cucumber. So no more guava in this? No guava. This is like, whoa, oh, I just dropped it. No! No, it's a five second rule. <laughs> it's a five second rule. It looks, it looks like this is a good chaser for the barbecue sauce, right? Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. You too. It's All right, it's a lime. No more guava in this though. Why are you giving me that look? I don't know. It seems like to me I should be drinking. It matches my. It matches, does. Uh, it matches everything. Matches everything. It matches my shirt though. Yeah, it does. Sorry. It's over there. Was he feeding it like? I had to give Shrek some, okay? Oh! oh. You needed some ogre juice, okay? Don't judge me. It's pretty refreshing, isn't it? Yeah, I really like this. In fact, I consumed it pretty good. It was like a good mixture of cucumber and lime and Sprite and everything in there. And that's going to do it for today from Disney Springs. Started off at Krispy Kreme, ended up at Springs here at Disney. Didn't really know how the day was going to progress, but it ended up being pretty fun. It was a pretty good St. Patty's Day. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.